Stan Jabalisco here uh, to, to explain to you the results of a little experiment that I did with a couple of Radio Shack transformer modules. You can get them at uh, your Radio Shack store. I don't know if that's the brand name or not, but uh, they are intended to convert 120 volts, 60 hertz RMSAC, commonly used in the United States, to either 18 or 24 volts RMSAC, depending on the position of a switch internally. Well, I have this one shown as supplying 18 volts AC. And when I tested it with a, a good AC voltmeter, a Radio Shack True RMS, uh, it's called a True RMS. Well, I suppose I could try to spell here true RMS AC voltmeter and it'll also measure ohms, DC volts, uh, amperes, milliampers, and even capacitance in nanofarads. I think I've alluded to that particular meter in another video but I measured this and it was pretty close to 18 volts AC so this little device actually did its job. Now what I wondered is what would happen if I reversed this transformer and in, and replace the secondary as the primary and the primary as the secondary and then pumped 18 volts AC into this side what would I get out over here? Would I get 120 volts AC again? Or would I get something different? Well I bought two of these little modules and simply connected them back to back. So in effect, this is what I ended up with. Now I made sure to switch this one to the 18 volt position and this one also to the 18 volt position. If one of them's on the 18 volt position and the other one's on the 24 volt position you get different results. Uh, predictable and uh, the results by the way turn out as you would predict. If you want to do a little calculating and figure out what that would be, be my guest. But I had two of these little transformer modules identical to each other. So 120 volts AC going in here, 18 volts AC appearing at this secondary and then I just reversed this second module and pumped that 18 volts into the secondary winding of the second module and lo and behold indeed I did get when I measured it 120 volts AC at the output. Now there are a couple of caveats here. These modules are not meant to be used backwards. I just sort of cheated to see whether or not they would actually transform the voltage backwards. And they did. As for applying a significant load here, that's an entirely different ball game. Chances are there would be some considerable voltage drops if I tried that connecting a load to this so I did not connect for example a light bulb here and then plug in this end over here and see whether it would light. You can do that if you want but uh, be forewarned that you might burn out one or both of the transformers. Probably this second one would be placed under the greatest strain because it isn't meant to be used as a step up device it's meant to be used as a step down device but you can in fact switch them around and hook them up backwards and at least in theory get measured results that agree with what you would predict. Just an interesting little twist that I did down in the nerd cave a little while ago. Stan Jabalisco signing off for now until next time so long.